Have you ever noticed the soft spot on top of a baby's head? Infants are born with several soft spots called fontanelles, which serve a very critical role during childbirth and brain development. The skull consists of many bones joined together. The areas where the bones articulate are called sutures. At birth, the sutures are not joined together firmly. The unossified membranous areas between two sutures are called fontanelles. Fontanelles are made up of an embryonic connective tissue called mesenchyme. After a child is born, the fontanelles begin to ossify and form bone. Some bones to be familiar with when discussing fontanelles are the frontal bones, parietal bones, sphenoid bone, temporal bones, and the occipital bone. The fontanelles allow growth of the brain and skull during late fetal life. As can be seen here, the fontanelles allow for compression of the fetal skull during childbirth without injury to the brain. There are a number of fontanelles on a newborn skull. The anterior fontanelle, posterior fontanelle, sphenoidal fontanelle, and mastoid fontanelle are seen. The anterior fontanelle is the largest and is shaped like a diamond. It is located between the frontal, parietal bones. The anterior fontanelle usually closes between seven to 19 months of age. During infancy, the anterior fontanelle is known as the bregma. In the congenital disorder, cleidocranial dystosis, the anterior fontanelle is often late in closing or may never close. The condition affects the development of the bones and teeth. Individuals with cleidocranial dystosis usually have underdeveloped or absent clavicles. As seen here, their shoulders can be brought unusually close together. The posterior fontanelle is triangle shaped and located between the parietal and occipital bones. The posterior fontanelle closes between one to two months of age. Okay. The sphenoidal fontanelle is located laterally on the fetal skull between the frontal, parietal, sphenoid, and temporal bones. The sphenoidal fontanelles are replaced by bone by the end of the first year. The mastoid fontanelle is located laterally on the fetal skull between the parietal, temporal, and occipital bones. The mastoid fontanelles are replaced by bone by the end of the first year. When examining a fetal skull, the fontanelle should feel firm and slightly curved inward to the touch. A bulging fontanelle is an outward curving of a fontanelle. Fluid builds up in the brain, causing the fontanelle to bulge outward. Possible causes include encephalitis, a swelling of the brain due to a bacterial or viral infection. It can also be caused by meningitis, infection of the membranes covering the brain. However, keep in mind, a fontanelle may appear to be bulging outward when an infant is crying, lying down, or vomiting. The fontanelle should return to normal when the infant is calm and in head-up position. Fontanelles may occasionally pulsate. However, this is no cause for alarm as this is normal and mirrors the heartbeat. The pulsating action is how the soft spot got its name. Fontanelle means little fountain. 
Premature complete ossification of the sutures is called craniosynostosis. This condition changes the growth pattern of the skull and may result in abnormal head shape and abnormal facial features. In cases where there is not enough space for brain development, craniosynostosis can lead to visual problems, sleeping disorders, and cognitive difficulties. This video was prepared as part of the course requirements of human anatomy at Saddleback College.